welcome to my video. Now I've got a new camera because my GoPro's been playing up. Hopefully this one's okay. I want people to tell me if this is a better video than normal. Um, I've got a separate mic on it as well. Hopefully it's going to be better. I can get a Bluetooth attachment for it and have a have one which I haven't got yet on that where I can wear on my collar. Um, now yesterday was a bit of a disaster. I anti-freezed it. That went fine. I left it running outside and when I reversed it back into the garage I found this on the floor. It didn't make any noises, it wasn't squealing, but my fan belts, my alternator belts have been uh, running a little bit slack and this one gave up the ghost. Okay, so that's rubbish. Right, so I've still got one on there, I need to get that off and uh, go down to the local shop and get a couple more. They don't normally have them stocked so I need to go down there to get them ordered in. Okay, um, so that's about it. I think. Let's crack on. Okay, let's get this off. Let's get this off. I'm slacking it right off and it comes off easy now. That's it. Okay. Alright. Let's see, we've got the same numbers on these. Uh, 6, 6272MC. That's the same belt. Okay, that one doesn't look too bad. It looks like it's worn a bit. Yeah, it's definitely not been happy. Okay, right. I shall be going out to try and get one. Uh, a pair of new. I should be going out to get a pair of new hand belts. <laughs> Next, I've got these. This is um, got them all fan belts, which I got from my local car accessory parts. Um, got the Gates ones. Okay, um, put these on. I need to check the alternated and make sure it's spinning okay and not um, burning the belts out and the other thing is the water pump make sure that's okay and it hasn't got any play on it that'd be good uh, so moving on let's go and put it on right I just need to check the alternator to make sure it's spinning over and it's not sticking and chewing these belts up. No, nope, that's free. The water pump's free. So we're okay there. Uh, right. Gonna put these two belts on first. The alternator belts. So I don't want to get them mixed up with my, I don't know, I shouldn't be able to get it mixed up, but that's my power steering belt, okay? So I think the best way to do this is to feed it down through here and fix it onto the alternator. Let's just get it past the alternator a bit. Well, it isn't. Okay, so just pushing that down there, get it over the top of the alternator, and I'm going to try and grab it this side and pull it, and then I'm going to put it over, uh, put them over the second part of the belt where it wants to live on both of them. Uh -huh. And then we're going to turn the engine over from underneath. Hopefully, we're going to get them both on in the right place, which would be excellent. Okay, so that's roughly where I want to go. If I can get underneath, we'll... right? I've got it jacked up enough for me to get underneath, and uh, a couple of axle stands under the front with me jack, so I'm more than safe. Uh, so I just want to get underneath and turn the engine over and get this 
belt on because that adjustment is right as it is maximum on the alternator okay so let's go all right i'm just making sure i've got that first belt on it's a bit of a struggle let's get it there that's the first one on now it's time to put the second one on first and then the water pump so, and then got that over there and then the water pump and it's got to go down there uh -huh. that's okay so get the right shape First one, let's get on to the next one now. Tighten up with it. Right, let's just gotta get this bolt back in. This bolt back in the top of the alternator. And when I've done that, I'll make sure it's nice and tight. Spreading it at the moment. in with my hands which is very good gotcha right, okay make sure these belts are nice and tight get the end in there I'm gonna to try that just make sure let's see if I can just get a little bit tighter there's a crowbar up here that's there Hold 
nice and tight now. Just going to put the steering pump belt on. Uh, I hope this goes on. This should go on a piece of cake compared to the other ones. There's only one of them, and it's on the outside. There's a lot. I get it tucked in there. That's good. I just thought about something. Make sure they're not. These belts are not arrowed. They don't look like they're arrowed at all, so they're only one direction. This is just as well, because I didn't check the other belts. That's got that on there. And then <coughs> just need to put that down on there. I can't get the end in, that's the trouble. I can get it from underneath for a minute. <coughs> yeah, okay, that's it's gone on there, a piece of cake. I just need to uh, adjust it. Okay, that's the belt on. So what I'm going to do now is to refit this turbo hose. So uh, that's the best way to do it. Put the turbo first. And then onto that. And then this. Like that. Right, that's got it. Okay, so I just got these screws to do it. Make sure they're in the right place. That's it. Nicely. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Let's put this one back in place. Something like that. underneath then I'm not going to drive it outside in the wet so we'll have to wait till tomorrow I guess so okay this will take a wash off uh, perhaps that's tomorrow as well after I've had a run I just want to get the pressure washer around this engine bay I've not done that at all I've always been frightened because I'm old school about making an engine wet but, uh, I think when you're driving through the rain you're going to get the engine wet in any case but I think we'll just have to see Right, the last thing to do is to start them up and see what they look like when they're spinning over. Make sure they're okay and I'll check them again.
one more thing I've got to do is just make sure it's charging. Just going to plug that onto there. I just noticed something bad. I've got quite a nasty bit of corrosion on that battery terminal over there, which I need to sort out. That's 14.9495. Excellent. Right. Uh, finished that. What I've done uh, the last few days is antifreeze it. I've got to. Um, yeah. Hope you hope you enjoyed that. I had to put a bit of music with it because there was no sound. I forgot to turn my um, video. Better check that. Yeah, it's still going. Yeah, I checked the mic. I didn't check the mic and there was no sound with it so I've just fast forwarded it what I had and it's a new camera I uh, get familiar with it okay so um, it seems to be quite good um, I'm just going to check that so I got a bit of a bit of a zoom zoom okay oh god that's too close okay now this is going to frighten you all so I'm just going to take it back out again uh, uh, but Oh, we can go a bit closer. Yeah, okay. So, how's that? I want you to tell me what you think of the quality on this and the sound. Uh, it's got an external mic. The internal mic is very quiet. It's got two settings on the mic. It's got the low and high. At the moment, it's set to low. When I put it high, there's a lot of background noise. Hopefully, it's not quite so bad on uh, on where it's set now. But um, I am going to get some Bluetooth and. Uh, Put it on there as well okay so um, I want a bit of feedback if possible from you guys okay on that um, so as you saw I've done the fan belts um, and that's about it really everybody that's supported me on this channel everybody that's subscribed everybody that's given me a thumbs up everybody that's left a comment and everybody that shared my videos so thanks thanks again and catch you in the next one